Buongiorno a tutti, oggi parleremo di identificazione automatica nell'era dell'Internet of Things e ne parliamo con Olaf Wilsmeyer, fondatore e proprietario della Wilsmeyer Solution, esperto in identificazione automatica e digitalizzazione, promotore dell'OPC UA for Auto ID Companion Specification. Olaf, good morning. What does it mean Auto ID in a IoT age? Yeah, Antonella, many thanks for this uh, introduction. Yeah, auto ID in the context of IoT, or I would say IIoT, industrial Internet of Things, means from my point of view that this is really a base technology. Why? Yeah, if you like to communicate with an object, with an item, which is not already connected by itself to a network, you need to have a way to identify it automatically, of course, otherwise you cannot use it in industrial uh, context. So that means how to identify a pallet, a carton box, for instance, or maybe a tool, a machinery tool. And here, auto ID came into place. So it doesn't matter if we're talking about huge FRFID, barcode, or any vision system, This all is uh, auto ID, automatic identification. And here you could see already, this is really the starting point. Yeah, If you want to design or build up a system with a digital twin so that you have somewhere data about an object, for instance, to monitor the life cycle, uh, or if you would like to improve the logistic process, for instance, you want to track and trace your conveyors or your Um, your, your pellets, then of course you need to identify uh, these objects uh, to improve your processes. In addition, of course, if this is, yeah, if you, if you agree with me and you say, yes, this is really a base technology to do all these um, automation steps uh, on top, then of course it is more than important to in, to make sure that the integration of this base technology is seamlessly as possible best case of course vendor and technology independent and of course it should be able to take an eye as well or to it should include already the security point of view yeah so all these features and Yeah, some years ago, this was a little bit the starting point. There's an association called AIM, uh, which is a global association. And from the German speaking chapter, I'm as well a board member. And we have had a, a working group session and we discussed, okay, what should we do to, yeah, to, to improve the communication? So the integration point of view of this kind of technology. In the end, we're talking about interoperability. Yeah? Different kind of systems needs to interact with each other. It doesn't matter if we're talking about an auto ID system to a PLC, an auto ID system to a cloud system, or to any other uh, computer system. And so we discussed, and finally we said, yeah, there is OPC UA, OPC Unified Architecture. Maybe you've heard about this. This is a communication layer which offers you the possibility to transfer data, but not just the data, you could get in, not just the values, you would get as well the meta information. So how to interpret the data is already included in the information you're getting. In addition, OPC UA is offering a lot of important features, for instance, security, yeah, which is as well evaluated and approved by the German ministry BSI. And so we, make a we made a decision to go ahead in this direction. And in 2014, the OPC Foundation and the AIM Association started a collaborated working group to design the so-called companion specification for outer ID devices. Within this companion specification, the main function for different kind of outer ID technologies Um, yeah, is um, specified, so how to communicate, how to get the data, what kind of functions are available. In addition, because OPC UA is object-oriented, 
you could derive as well from this uh, specification and add your own features. Because of this, of course, the acceptance by the different vendors and manufacturers of auto ID devices is pretty high. And you will find many devices already ready to go, ready to use, uh, available on the market. Uh, for instance, Siemens, Sig, Balov, Leutze, um, Harting. So all these kind of vendors have already implemented this kind of features. So that means it's pretty easy to, to use auto ID technology as a base technology to identify objects as I've mentioned before, pellets, carton boxes, machinery tools, whatever you have in mind, and to integrate it into your IT processes as seamlessly and secure as possible. Many thanks, Olaf. Vi invito a seguire anche le prossime interviste di automazione oggi. Alla prossima. Arrivederci.